So before we understand the uh, behavior of AC in R, L and C circuit, there are few basic things or parameters that we need to understand in order to understand the uh, RLC circuit. We have already seen it, but we will quickly just review those things. So first thing uh, is the resistance. Now resistance, we know it is simply the opposition offered by a conductor to the flow of electrons. We measure it in ohms, right? And in resistive circuit, we have seen current is uh, in phase with voltage. So the difference is zero degrees. Both are in phase with each other. And whatever we have discussed about so far in the AC circuits playlist, we have discussed considering every parameter is pure and perfect. So resistance, inductor and capacitor, we are considering them as the perfect uh, parameter. And when we say that, so when we say a resistor is a perfect resistor, then we say it only has a resistance and it do not have any reactance in it. If that condition is satisfied, then that resistor is called as the pure resistor or the perfect resistor. Right? Clear? That is about resistance. The second type of opposition that we have seen is the reactance. Now reactance can be of two types. So the one is uh, inductive reactance we denoted by XL. Then the second one is XC. Now XL is offered by the inductor and XL is offered by a capacitor. Clear? Inductor, what they do is they simply oppose the change in the current by supplying or drawing the voltage across it. Therefore, the voltage and current in inductive circuit is 90 degree out of phase with each other. This we have seen in detail in our previous videos. And again, if the pure inductor we are considering, that means it will have a zero resistance, but the inductance XL will be 100% clear same thing applies to the capacitor in capacitive circuit also capacitor opposes the change in voltage by drawing or supplying the current and this opposition is different than that of resistor hence we call it as capacitive reactance so in this circuit also current and voltage are 90 degree out of phase with each other again pure capacitor that means it will have zero resistance and the inductance will be 100 percent clear so these are the two basic opposition that we see. But when we talk about AC circuit, we have to use a comprehensive term so that it can cover all the types of opposition a circuit is offering. And for that, we have a separate term we denoted by letter Z and it is called as impedance. Clear? Impedance is nothing but it is uh, the combination of all the opposition that AC circuit is offering to the uh, current that is flowing through it and the phase angle between uh, you know current and voltage in the in the case of impedance if you are considering impedance then it will be 0 to 90 degrees now the value of phase angle depends upon the values of inductor and capacitor so it will vary based on that again inductor we measure it in ohms similar to that we also measure inductive reactance in ohms and capacitive reactance is also in ohms clear now these are the basic three things that we need to understand in order to understand the r l and c circuit series rlc circuit that we will see right now and if you are interested in knowing uh, more about the ac circuits you want to have more content on ac circuit then you can join my free course on ac circuit that is available on my website app and mobile apps links i'll provide links for all these things down in the description you can go and check it out now let us see the basic rlc circuit here so here what you can see on your screen is a basic rlc circuit we have a 230 volt ac supply here with 50 hertz frequency we have connected a 2 ohm resistor in series with 3 henry inductor and that is in series with the 6.8 microfarad capacitor so this is r l and c circuit clear now across a resistance there will be voltage drop ha happening we label it as vr and it is given by i into r where r is the value of resistance clear then of course across inductor there will be voltage drop we denote it by vl and that is given by i into xl xl is what xl is inductive reactance formula for that is also very simple that we will see shortly 
then we have voltage drop across capacitor as well that is denoted by vc and it is given by i times xc xc is again uh, capacitive reactance so first let us identify the values of xl and xc so xl we know the formula xl is equals to 2 pi fl where f is the frequency and l is the inductor now if you put the values in this formula the resultant value that you will get is 942.45 ohms is the inductive reactance that we have clear similarly we can also put uh, identify the xc and the formula for that is xc is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi fc now in this case in case of capacitive reactance uh, the value is inversely proportional to the frequency whereas in case of inductive reactance the value is directly proportional to the frequency that is the difference and if you put the values in this equation then the answer that you will get is 468 ohms so here we have identified both the oppositions right we have the value of resistance that is 2 ohms we have also identified the value of uh, inductive reactance and we have also identified the value of capacitive reactance now these are three different opposition that uh, this particular circuit is offering we now need a more comprehensive term that will combine all these opposition and will make our calculation much more easy and that term is impedance so we'll find out the impedance of the circuit but before that uh, a very important thing that we will do here right now is we'll draw the phasor diagram and this is really important and easy to understand what you have to do is just focus on what i am saying right now so now focus on the explanation right here again what we'll do we'll consider current as our base here so i am drawing current this is the i now first let's talk about resistor resistor we know that voltage and current are in phase with each other so similarly the voltage drop that is happening across this resistor will also be in phase with current so here I'm drawing the VR. So this is the voltage drop across resistor VR. Now coming to inductor, inductor we know the current lags the voltage by 90 degree in case of inductive circuit. So similarly, the voltage drop whatever will happen across the inductor will lead the current by 90 degree and this is VL. Clear? Now coming to capacitor, in capacitive circuit we know voltage lags the current current leads the voltage and hence the voltage will be shown like this clear this is vc now this will be a negative value and this will be a positive value now based on this phasor diagram it is pretty much clear that the vl and the vc are exactly opposite to each other that means they will cancel out each other so if you have to find out the effective voltage drop across uh, inductor and capacitor both put together you have to subtract these two from each other and then you'll get the effective value right and that we represent by vl minus vc this will be the value and this resultant value will definitely be less than any of the individual value right because let's say uh, uh, vl is 10 and your VC is let's say 5 volts so the resultant value will be 5 so definitely this is lesser than the uh, value of individual this thing so considering uh, let's say this particular circuit is uh, VL is more dominating the voltage drop across the inductor is more dominant than the voltage drop across the capacitor hence uh, the voltage drop will be little less so this will be the voltage drop and this is the value of VL minus VC clear and the total voltage v v will be what we will be nothing but the phasor sum of vr and the phasor sum of vl minus vc so we can draw a line like this and this will be the v clear understood very very easy to draw and this completes the phasor diagram of our lc circuit clear now now what we will do we will apply pythagoras theorem to this phasor diagram and this will be the phi uh, that is this will be the angle phase angle between v and i in case of rlc so here let us apply the pythagoras theorem so v is equals to square root of v r square plus 
VL minus VC square. Right? Now let us further solve this equation. We have values of all these uh, voltage drops and that we denote by IR square plus I into XL minus I into XC square. And if you solve this equation, the resultant value will be V is equals to I times square root of R square plus XL minus XC square. And this is a really, really important equation in RLC circuit. V is the total voltage that we have applied to the circuit. I is the total value uh, of current that is flowing in the circuit, RMS value I am talking. And the next term, this term will be the opposition offered by the circuit, total opposition offered by the circuit. That means we can also write Z is equals to square root of R square plus xc sorry xl minus xc square this is the formula for impedance in case of rlc circuit this covers the resistance this covers the inductive reactance and also the capacitive reactance clear now in rlc circuit there are basically three main things that can happen it depends upon three things and what are these three things uh, we will just see now so we have seen the uh, equation for the impedance in case of RLC and that goes Z is equals to R square plus XL minus XC. This is the equation for the impedance. Now a lot of things depend upon this. Let's say the first uh, scenario wherein this XL minus XC is equals to a positive number. Right. That means the voltage drop across the inductor is more dominant than that of the XC. Clear. That means this circuit a behaves like an inductive circuit. It behaves like an inductive circuit. Why? Because the voltage drop across inductor is much more than that of the capacitor. Clear. And that means in this case, the current I lags the voltage the number will be between 0 to 90 degree depends upon the value of the inductor clear that is the one situation that can happen the second situation where xl minus xc is a negative number that means your voltage drop across the capacitor is much more than that of the voltage drop across the inductor clear and as a result the circuit act as a capacitive circuit and in that case, I leads the voltage, current leads the voltage if the value of XC is more than the value of XL, clear? Similarly, the third situation that can happen is uh, the XL minus XC will be zero. Both are equal. And in such situation, the circuit act as a resistive circuit, clear? And in that case, the angle between voltage and current will be zero degrees. That means they will be in perfectly in phase with each other. Now what you can do is you can take any circuit simulator and prepare a RLC circuit. Now you have to set the values of capacitor and inductor like that. It becomes a resistive circuit. Now you do that, uh, you prepare the circuit, you set the values, take a screenshot, put it on your uh, Instagram story, tag me there and I will be happy to see that. And that will also, you know, give you more clarity about RLC circuit to you. And that is for your own benefit, right? So I hope uh, this was clear. If the video helped you, do let me know your thoughts via the comments. And also like the video that also helps the channel to grow further. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.